Hi and welcome everybody. In this video, we will get you set up with Soundtrap and make sure that you have some information on how to navigate and manage your account. First off, we're gonna go through all of the tabs that you have here on your profile page. First, we have your projects tab, where you can find all your projects and assignments. Here, you can create assignments and also share them to any of these platforms. Then we have the public profile tab. Here, you can find all of your projects that you've made public. The next one is your group tab. Here, you can create your groups for your students, classes, and even the whole school. It is important to note that students need to be in the same group to be able to find each other and collaborate. Next up, the EDU admin tab. This is where you can import students, administrate seats, assignments, and groups, as well as finding details on your account, subscriptions, and permissions. Last but not least, you have your resource tab. If you have any questions or need help, this is your best friend. We have compiled all the information you need to get started, right here. Now back to the EDU Admin tab. Your EDU Admin tab is your greatest asset when you need to administrate your account. So here is how you invite or import students. Start by clicking on Import Users. Now choose your method of import. So you can either use link or code that can be sent out to your students so they're able to create their own accounts and join your educational account on their own. Email with a temporary code is where you type in your student's email and then use a temporary password that the student then can change upon logging in. A CSV file is a list of students in a sheet or Excel file with the following columns in order. First name, last name, email, and password. Now over to LMS integrations. If you're using Google Classroom, Google Directory, or Canvas, you're able to connect your Soundtrap accounts right here. If you're using other LMSs, you will have to set up the account through the LMS app page. As I spoke about before, on your left side, you will find your permissions page. Here, you will be able to choose whether or not your students are gonna be in a walled garden. A walled garden is a protected environment that schools can set up where students have the ability to create in a safe environment without any contact of users outside of the school. They can be assigned and handled in the permissions tab for each account type. So here, for example, only student accounts would be in the walled garden. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other questions, please check out the resource tab on your profile page. And don't hesitate to reach out to us. My name is Adam and welcome to Soundtrap for Education.